When the PlayStation 2 launched, rumors spread that its processor was so powerful it could help guide nuclear missiles. The claim was wildly exaggerated, but it caught the attention of Saddam Hussein, who reportedly tried to bulk buy thousands of consoles, prompting U.S. export scrutiny. A decade later, the U.S. Air Force took that idea and actually ran with it. At its research laboratory in Rome, New York, it built the Condor Cluster, a supercomputer made from 1,760 PlayStation 3 consoles. Costing around $1 million in hardware, it delivered roughly 500 teraflops of performance and ran image processing, radar enhancement, pattern recognition, satellite analysis, and early AI research. Thanks to the PS3's architecture, it used about 90% less power than a comparable traditional system that might have cost 10 times more. The secret sauce was Sony's other OS feature, which allowed the PS3 to run Linux. But in 2010, Sony pushed a firmware update that removed that ability from new and refurbished consoles. The Air Force's existing PS3s were safe, but the cluster became unexpandable and effectively doomed. Any failed console couldn't be replaced. As for Saddam's rumored PlayStation supercomputer, if it ever existed, it left no trace.